Hello everybody and welcome back to Jack 3, The Search for Kira's Voice. Yay, <laughs> that's not gonna be fun at all. She's done, well, she only what? has like two lines. Speaking of Kira's voice, that reminds me of something I wanted to talk about when we were talking about Kira's voice. So, you know, we mentioned before that she's voiced by Tara Strong, and not for nothing, she's a perfectly fine actress, but honestly, I don't really think she'd have a good way of replicating the original actress's voice, because uh, to me, because of the fact that no. that original voice has such a very noticeable, for lack of a better word, rasp it, to it's it, very, it's a butter substitute. It's very distinct. Yeah, I think if they were going to have to get a substitute, I think a better substitute they could have got is maybe Cree Summers, because she also has that kind of similar rasp in her voice. That's true. Yeah, these, these cutscenes now take the place of the elevators themselves. Well, I mean... I'll do. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. hey, it saves, it saves us a bit of loading. I like to think it that... It saves my uh, face from a bit of punishment. Oh, geez, these guys are back. Oh, great. I... But uh, I would say I would say even more so than the rasp. I I remember Kira for her little unintentional voice cracks. Yeah, I I I remember that. Your heat shield. I'm just, just I'm just her voice just reaches a whole new octave. I'm just wondering what happened what happened with the original actress and why she decided not to uh, stick around. I'm gonna look that up because I'm bored and we're in the a sewer only... level and everyone loves those. Yeah. If I had to make any assumptions, I would assume it's one of three things. Either scheduling conflicts, retirement, or she just didn't want to voice her. Or, or yeah, or location change, kind of like what happened with um, uh, what's her name, uh, Kate Higgins. Whoop. Yeah, let me look at. Yeah. She, she has to get really, Was that the reason she was replaced as tails? I think she. I think that's what it was. Like she had to be relocated to a different, or she relocated to a different union, or whatever, or, or something like that. I forget the entire story behind that. It's just that, oh, well, that's the reason why she doesn't voice tails let me anymore. See this freaking chair. That's Let's interesting, because I don't think I've ever heard anyone really dig up a reason why. I feel like I, I feel like that might have been, or maybe I'm mis I'm thinking of someone else. It's just that someone had to move, had to, or no, no, that might have been Rosalina. My bad. I, I don't remember. I mean, something happened with Higgins, and oh, and, to be fair, this was around the time when there was the whole, uh, like the whole, uh, strike. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, the right. sack strike. And you know what? It's kind of funny, and I know people have made this comparison before, but I still think it's kind of glorious that we have Kate Higgins, she goes from being Tails to being a voice actress in one of the biggest Mario games ever made. And not not to mention the fu freaking vocalist for the for the freaking theme song. So, appar so apparently this is an interesting theory someone's having, because I agree, it doesn't make any sense. So, spoilers... In terms of Kira and Jack, yeah, yeah, we got some more secrets. Woo! So, spoilers in terms of Kira and Jack, their their romance is done. This game uh, outright gets rid of it until sucks. maybe. I don't know. I don't know if Lost yeah, Legacy. I don't know. If, I don't know if Lost Frontier brings it back. Well, oh, nice. Kira has more. Kira has more significance in that game, so I wouldn't be surprised if they tried again. But uh, yeah, spoilers. For some reason, they suddenly make Ashlyn the love interest for Jack, which, which is can, dumb. Well, no, it, it's dumb because it seems forced. And Jack 2's ending already established that she was going to hook up with Torn. So, so what was yeah. the reason for splitting them off? So there seems to be. Yeah, does a, anything happen to Torn in this game? The, he, oh no, we'll we'll catch up with him again. But nothing like plot relevant happens. Just you know, his normal days. These things can die. Everyone can die. <laughs> so the I, so the idea. Give him hell with your proton pack. I love it. So the idea. I, I do love the weapons in this game. It, it's not. It's not like on Ratchet and Clank levels, but it's it's getting there. So the idea is that the, here's a theory. The idea. Sorry. The theory is that because they couldn't get Kira's original voice actress, they canned a romance between Kira and Jack because people would notice it more if Kira spoke more with a new voice. I... That is a theory. Well, I don't know if it's true or not. I mean, if that, um, is, if that were, were the reason, then yeah, that does seem rather petty. I'm looking into ah! this, though. Okay, you got... Oh, yeah, the freaking laser guns are back. Make way for the theory patrol. Let's see. Actually, I might be... I just remembered something that I do want to bring up, but I, I'm a little afraid to, because if it is true, it might potentially be a spoiler. Okay, well, I'll say this right now. Looking at this right now, apparently um, there is an interview 
that said that uh, I guess the issue is that Anna, the reason why Anna didn't come back to do Kirua's contractual obligations. Mm. And originally, the reason why Kira has such, like, apparently the idea was that they actually tried to get rid of Kira in these games. Like, they, they did not plan to bring her back, but of course fan backlash, and that's why they well, suddenly tried you, forcing you, that again in Jack X. Honestly, if you're gonna bring her back and bring her, bring her into the future along with Jack, that would be pretty fucking stupid. Unless you were to say, you know, kill her off. Yeah. So ultimately, I'm looking into this, I can't find anything else, but, um... Oh, by the way, I put down yeah. there what I was alluding to. Hmm? Oh, the, uh, thing he put it on Discord. Let's... I don't know if I have some of panic yet. Um, I don't remember... Oh, yeah, good to not bring that up right now, but, uh, that... Oh, that's right. Crap, I don't know. R real quick, now that you brought that up. Uh, Hype, you have not seen all this, including the ending, have you? No, I haven't. Like, the only reason I know okay, of that cool. is that I stumbled across a piece of fan art reflecting it. Okay, then, uh, yeah, then I'm not gonna bring up anything about the methods of what you're talking about, and for the rest of the viewers, welcome! We finally made it into Haven City proper. Yay! Well, it, looks like, it looks about as much of a shitstorm as it was when we last left it. Well, we've made it to looks the... Like we made it to the port, which is pretty much as I sort of remembered it, and hey, the Hip Hog Haven is still the Naughty Otzel. Yay! Ah, nice to yeah, see you. Ah, look at that hot stud. Just as I remembered it. I wonder, um, wonder if it's under new management with, with Dax for having to go adventuring. Yeah, yeah, it is. You, you'll see. Just watch. Ah, the Naughty Otzel. Honey, I'm <laughs> Jack. Oh. Hey, Torn. oh, it's Torn. You're not my honey! We needed a southern HQ for the They turned into a headquarters. Yeah. That's fair. What? It's cool. Well, don't think that just because this is HQ that the drinks are free. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. They shoot at Daxter's face and we are jerks. So Count Vigor is still the main baddie and uh mm -hmm. and yeah, the issue is that the place where Samos and Kira are, that is in a uh, that's in like a suburb in, area. Yeah, it's in a suburb area which is blocked by Yeah, there's a giant there's between us and that little shield is a wall of crimson guard robots. I guess it's still shocking that the crimson guards are still a thing considering oh. killed off practices. Hey, those things are back. Oh joy. Well hey, we still got we got a proton pack now, so they they shouldn't be a problem, right? Actually, yeah, be yeah. Yes, Battle as long as you enough. don't cross the street, oh. Jack. Oh, um, oh well. hi there. That's an interesting little thing, but yeah, that's just I guess to let us know which is the closest uh, blast bot to take care of. So let's go take care of that then, shall we? But um, okay. yes, I won't tell. I won't tell. I won't. I will not disclose any more information regarding what hype is posted. But just that, yes, it is possible. But the methods of why and how we're not going to bring up because that brings up a big plot I... point that. This is, again, one of those games where I would have totally accepted if this was where the series ended. Yeah. They continued it, okay, um, which the racing game was fine, I do, one but... more... I do have one more question, and I'm going to try to keep it as vague as I can. Sure. The thing that I pointed out, how far are we away from that happening? That's like... like that, oh, that's like... like that's, that's like... like that's like Endgame. Yeah, that's like the end of... Th that's, the, that's the end of Act 3. We're still... Okay. We, we just started Act 2. So we got a we got a little ways. Like if I'm looking like if I'm just scrolling ahead, we got until around like part twelve, part even no honestly we're at, we got until like part four. We're like second to last part when we're it's actually. Li it's literally see that. it's literally near the end of the game. Yeah, but we're gotcha. almost, I, I will say we're half I will say we are half you know yeah I'll say we are halfway on the way there. Hooray! So Alrighty. so oh halfway so, there. So this halfway oh. There. So that's something to know is that uh, KG robots are the only really big bad guys. These blue guys are freedom fighters. Mm -hmm. and they're and on they our side. And they look a lot like the Crimson Guards, just now they're, they're blue. And they're not voiced by... And they're not voiced Jesus. by... Uh, ow! Jesus. What did you think you were going to accomplish doing that? I was going to freaking do a kickflip grind. I don't know. No. Why don't you do that sooner? Yeah, just, just, just blast him with the proton. I am, I am. Can't wait till I get a freaking peacemaker. That would be so awesome. Do we get a Peacemaker in this game? Yeah, we always get the Peacemaker. That, that's like the fourth gun slot we haven't gotten yet. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Ow! Ah. And I will say, and I will, and I will say, be careful. Die. I will say, be careful. Uh, similar to the uh, 
to the Wastelanders in uh, Sparga. Spar Spargus. No, Spar what was it? Spargus, thank you. Uh, similar to that, some of those guys don't hit the Freedom Fighters or else they will return fire. Of course. They're but other than that, you know, it is nice to know we actually have people on our side this time. It's not just us fighting against the wall every day. There yeah, it it's appreciated. There oh. we go. <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, he'll be fine. So, oh, sorry. Great shooting chat. He got up. He's fine. Back. Come back to the hey, buddy, hey, 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 Get our butts hmm. out of this mess. Yeah. All right, so but, yeah. where to next? Uh, back to Nihotsel to get more missions. It, it is nice to be back here. I, I, I ne again, the whole glum and dullness was fine, but oh, it'll be okay. <laughs> but, but I do, but I do like seeing familiarity. I love going back to old places and seeing Ashley, how they changed. Jack's back in the city. Jack? Whoa! Um, it's the hologram. Actually, now I think about it, we're going to learn the vi the other true villain of the game. Errol. He's alive somehow. Yep. That black that. That whole bla that whole blast of dark eco really didn't phase him all that much. Well, aside, the from, aside from a new cybernetic body. The best way I can describe it, hype is, I guess. Oh, hey, Samuels. The best I can describe it is, imagine what happened to Nefarious at the end of Ratchet and Clank the movie. Uh, That's the. I mean, I don't know if it. I'm it, not Aerobot. It was probably more. It was probably more intentional. Intentional than Nefarious's fate. Errol probably wanted this to happen, but yeah, meet the Cyber Errol. Honestly, I'm surprised there was a, there was enough of Errol to even reconfigure. Honestly, I think with the way that it was intentional, I think that I might be wrong here. But wouldn't a more apt comparison be Ridley? Yeah, I guess yeah, you could say right. that. So it's, we have that's, a that's kind of funny, considering the fact that Errol was Daxter. against... Was with the... Oh, God. This ought to be Ooh. fun. Good luck, Daxter. <laughs> yeah, apparently. So, the, so, okay, real quick to describe before we get back to the plot at hand. We need to take this missile that Daxter just decided to courageously jump onto, hit every single eco... Every single Excuse eco me, charge. Whoa! There is no... That was a close shave. There, be is all right. no, there is no time limit, but as you've realized, this thing is a little volatile. Oh, God. <laughs> and if I yeah. touch Whoa. anything as Whoa. solid as a mine or a solid wall, I will blow up. There is a checkpoint. Whoa. There's a check. There's a checkpoint you get around the halfway point, but with each eco charge, you will get faster and faster. So have fun. Uh, cool. So, um, well, I guess the whole checkpoint thing kind of answered my question. Does it save how many of these you've, ca yes. you've caught every time you die? Uh, not every time you die. Like until I reach that checkpoint, which is around halfway point. Uh, you will have to come back and oh get and all over Woo again. Woohoo! Got it. it got I it. immediately regret this! It takes a little bit of time to, like, uh, find fast the right... Fast RMX, eat your fucking heart out. Oh, God. Whoa! Jesus, I know. I hate, I hate this mission. It's so nerve-wracking. Awesome, so... awesome looks fun to me, but, yeah. <laughs> so Actually, you know what? Jeez. Oh, boy. It has been a while so, yeah, since I last played. As you were saying, you James... So yeah, what were you saying? We were talking about Errol and the whole robot thing and Ridley and how he did this intentionally. Well, the fact that Errol was originally against the Metalheads. He was working for Baron Praxis, and then all of a sudden he switched sides because, well, obviously he didn't really have much of a choice. There we go. That was close. And actually, James, there we go. here's the past Armex. I honestly get more Sunshine vibes with the Devil Dame Squid Boards. We I did it! I sort of see that, yeah. And I'm okay! Oh. Nope. Don't worry, there's a little dent there. It didn't feel a thing. That'd be fine. Yeah. Oh, snap, we get to go to the gun course. Great. Well, why don't we go check it out? I'm gonna go check it out, because I want to get some new guns. Because, yeah, as always, we'll always get new guns. And, yeah, unlike the calmness of Haven City in the original, there's almost always going to be a war happening. Well, yeah, it's like we're happening. in the middle of one. I go get yeah. the Curse Orbs, because I can. Curiosity, um, in terms of game development, what was the gap between Jack 2 and Jack Barely 3? a year. It was like literally just one year, and then came out immediately. They they essentially just reused the same engine they had for Jack Two, oh touched up a few things here and there. That's Ooh. it's basically the Crash Bandicoot effect. Gotcha. Which, the I thankfully, mean, thankfully to Jack Three's credit, it didn't feel very half-assed. So. Oh yeah, no, they did a great job. That's anyway, good. let's go meet the new person running the course. Just, just, there she, there is. she is. Hey Tess. Oh Tess. And yes, they still have a thing together. Oh my god. Hey, yes, baby. Don't crush the merchandise. How do you? 
I'm at least extra has someone. To help out the war and she's a gun expert now. Yeah, I just finished this new gun. My favorite gun. A multi-port, large board, Did you? Launcher with blowback breach assist using Whoa, babe, easy with the gun porn. And a continuous kill zone scanner for tight groupings at a high cycle rate of fire. <laughs> it's a hobby. Okay. So, so it is. First, oh. you have to prove you can protect my little schnookums in the oh my gun course. <laughs> <laughs> is this the same actress that tested? It I is. Think so. Yeah, it, it is. is. So, we have to beat a little blast. Ah, of course. memories. Except you have to be careful now. Uh, these KG robots, oh, they will, she's upgraded it a bit, and if you don't kill these robots fast enough, especially though, especially that one that just popped up, they will either blow up. Those ones that on the side, they will actually shoot at you. Yeah, these targets can fight back. Great. So be careful. But other than that, it's just another gun and also course. Also, don't hit any pedestrians. Yeah. Oh, well. Like that. But other than that, it's a gun course. Like we, like we've come to expect. So those are back. Uh, oh, and actually, a new thing that they did for this one. Uh, fun fact is they. Uh, this was around the time Oops. that Up Your Arsenal came Oops. out. So with precursor orbs, you can actually purchase an optional Ratchet and Clank themed uh, gun course in which. Um, crap. What were the what were the uh, enemy what were the enemy Cyclops thingies in Up Your Arsenal that you were fighting called? They were Nefarious' force before they got roboticized. I don't remember. It's been so but long since I last played that game. I, yeah, all... Yeah. But yeah, whatever those things are, all the targets are now, like, the, all the targets are now shaped like those things and, like, dressed up like them and stuff. And I, were, I don't know... Hmm? For, like, a very split second, I thought the direction you were going to take it was that there was going to be some kind of, like, like, proto-cross cross hardware thing where you can actually use one of the ratchet weapons in Jack. That, that would have been pretty awesome. sweet. Ow. That would have been so cool. All the all, all the weapons in up I I say up your arsenal has my favorite arrangement of weapons, though I haven't played any of the future series. Oops. Well but, I'd uh, say the future series has its own fair share of good ones. Like I still remember the um the uh, well the, the ever the how can you how can you ever forget the discotron? Yeah I, I I want to play Crack in Time really badly, but I don't want to go out of order. I want to play. Too. I want to play Quest for Booty and and Future Tools of Destruction, but Tools of Mass Destruction. But PS4 won't let me do that because they well, because, the because they really ask, need um, the trophy system and Tools of Destruction. Well, here's the thing I want to ask: um, aside from Quest for Booty, which I believe kind of like has a small prelude to the beginning of Crack in Time. How extensive is the knowledge you get from either game to really understand what's going on? Per, in uh, pretty Probably. extensive. A lot of characters from the, from uh, tools of, that make their debut in uh, Tools of Destruction do come back for Cracking Time. And I just I just want and I do want to play them order. I that and there, there's also I saw a certain plot point there that does get carried over into that one as well. well. Well, and I also saw Tools of Mass Destruction and it just looked really cool. Like the cinema, like they went they like kicked it up to eleven compared to like. The other games, anyway. So, oh yeah, for the first we're time, doing... it definitely was that. So we just we've just Not unlocked the gyro. For a guy. Shut up. I want you to protect my little Wait. baby with this, or else I'll she was saying we did down and hurt you real bad. Oh, I love how she's trying so hard to be yeah. tough. So, much... <laughs> so we just got ourselves the gyro burster, which essentially we just now got ourselves a minigun that will go. Nice. Uh, f that will go. Where I I'll, I'll use it later. But the idea is that if I fire this out ahead of me, it will start spinning around and will start shooting at. It will become a little portable floating turret Secrets. that'll shoot at anything. Nice. So I'm gonna get myself some more ammo because I might as well use these precursor orbs for something. Yeah. Aside um, aside from the extra shit. Yeah. There's the all the weapons. You, you know, know the crazy stuff. stuff. You can get a level select to play old missions that you did in the first game. Beavers, diapers, That's really fun. This is actually really fun. If you don't have if you don't have a vehicle. Ooh. Now, if I use the jet board in the desert, I will move at the speed of a vehicle. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, but that yeah. said, let me see what I'll, if I can get any other... Th that does I would say it, would pro it sounds like it's something that could probably outclass them, but at the same time, well, some of them have their own specific um, advantages weapons, that you're going to yeah. need, so... Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, looks like a pretty decent amount. Let's go. Alright. I'll, I'll use the jaw... I'll use I'll use the jaw burster somewhere else, but it is fine. Alright, Torm. Got ourselves some new weapons. Making your stuff... All of it. You better not have gone to my personal stash. Better me than you. Trunka. We've got some KG defenses we need eliminated. Super range sniper cannons are keeping our men pinned down. Uh, yeah, Check. it definitely brings back the memories. Take them out. 
There's sure to be an enemy counterattack when they see what you Yes, because so it's always us who does everything. You know the routine. Because you guys suck at your job. You get all the credit. And even Dexter stick at all this. Yeah. I know, right? So, so dumb. Ah, well, someone's gotta do it. And but, also, I just realized, hey guys, I'm back. You know, the guy you got banished oh, to the wastelands. I just kicked, I just, yeah, I just grabbed that person's car and dunked him in the water. And that's the probably why you got banished, because you kept on hijacking everyone's vehicles. So, we have that, a... That's not entirely untrue. I, okay, I, I was an anti-hero. That's what I am. So, take out these sniper cannons. Just... Ooh. Push down all these pistons whenever you get into this view, and destroy the and destroy the thing. And if if, if ever the oh boy. please die, and if ever the cursor zooms in on you, move quickly, or else the uh, laser beams will hit you. Yeah, and that's not too bad. They're, they're a lot more controlled than like that freaking tank segment in the second game. Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, honestly, me. honestly, the problem with the tank section was that it's just it felt so claustrophobic. So I would love if I'm just saying I I'm really appreciative that they added the entire Jack trilogy to PS4, which again the only reason why I haven't gone back to do those ones is I think I already said this in, in our Jack Two playthrough. Sometimes the textures don't like loading in the PS4 port. Yeah, they weren't properly off. The game wasn't brought through, properly optimized for the PS4, much like every other it, PS2 game on the service. The wide, I mean, the widescreen resolution is nice, but I, I'll stick to the classics while I have the chance to. Yeah. I would love if the I would love if the Sly Cooper trilogy with a, with a better freaking uh, rhythm, uh, Miss Ruby, uh, could be added to <laughs> yeah. PS4. And maybe a that's not gonna happen. And maybe a soon. smaller possibility of Sly's head disappearing. That too. I I, I would also love if Sly. That was actually for the Sly collection, so. But I'm just saying in general, I, I like... I thought that's what he was talking about. Yeah, I was talking about the site collection. Like, no, I thought you were talking about PS4 releases in general, because I don't think... Oh, so I ever got, got PS4 collections yet. Just in general, I want... Um, just in general, I want... Uh, I want to play more of these games. Like, forget... I, as much... As cool... By the way, we're ending the part here, but... But, I mean, as cool as the Insane Trilogy, the Reignited Trilogy, all that stuff is, Medieval... Uh, as cool as all this is... I'm also, like, I would just be a sucker if I could just play these games I like on the PS4 and not have to drag out the old PS2 every now and then to reliably play some of these games or to play you PS3 titles. You say that, but watch. Within, I was going to say, you say that, but watch. Within two or three years, they'll, you know, once again jump on board the game remake train and announce, like, Jack and Daxter, the precursor trilogy. Are you giving too much credit? They're just going to go the freaking let's copy Nintendo on the other route and give us the PS2 classic. And and watch is that even that that thing's library is gonna be very insignificant by comparison. Yep. <sighs> Sony, just if you're gonna try and blatantly let's not even kid ourselves, if you're gonna blatantly copy the thing that Nintendo's doing, try to try to do something to give yourself some edge and not just look like a plug and play ripoff. Yeah, so absolutely, we'll gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. Yeah. Bye, see you next part. I'm like a knife, a butter knife.